All right. It's time for a heart to heart, you know? So you probably clicked on this video because you thought, yes, that's me. I do not like astrology. Yes, this girl knows what's up. First of all, I need to let you know that I'm an astrologer. <laughs> and second of all, I need to let you know that it is okay that you do not like astrology. And third of all, I am not here to convince you to like astrology. This is not what this video is about. All right. Now that we have all of that sorted out, let's talk about... why you might not like astrology and and hear me out i feel like we need to talk about the reasons of why you might not like astrology because a lot of people when they don't like astrology the first reason they go to is well this means astrology is not real and I just want to give all of us a couple of other arguments to use in this discussion, you know, like, and this goes both ways. As an astrologer, as people loving astrology, I think we should give people the space to not like the practice, not try to convince them to like it. But I also think on the other hand, if we don't like astrology, I think we should also give the others the space to practice and believe what they should believe in. And I really think our vocabulary on why astrology is not for you should be expanded. I don't think we should be having this discussion of, oh, well, I read a horoscope and it's not true. So bam, astrology is not real. <laughs> okay, so I hope, I hope that sort of gives you an idea of how I came up with this video, why I'd like to do this video and why I think it's a valuable discussion. And... Hopefully, it gives all of us some food for thought. And again, I repeat, the idea is not to convince you to like astrology. That's, that's not the point of this video. It's just giving you some food for thought, some arguments that you can use. When in the future, somebody asks you, Oh, you don't like astrology? You could answer in a more sophisticated way, you know? I got you. I'm here for you. <laughs> All right, let's get into the first reason, which is the fact that you might have only scratched 1% of the whole practice of astrology. Now, hear me out. Astrology is really, really, really complicated. And I think a lot of people don't realize that quite yet. A lot of us are getting in touch with astrology through horoscopes, whether here on YouTube, whether on uh, magazines. A lot of us are getting in touch with astrology by seeing those weird Leo and Cancer are not compatible. And of course, when you read those, they don't resonate with you, of course. But I, I want to remind you that that is just 1% of astrology. And as a matter of fact, that 1% is so simplified and so, so dumbed down in a way, um, so stereotyped. And that is the reason why it doesn't even resonate anymore. Of course, Cancers and Leos can have beautiful relationships together. And I want this... I want you to consider this as the first reason why astrology may not resonate with you. That perhaps 
the very little bit you have heard about it or read about it is just not the full picture. And please, please consider that as your first argument of why astrology doesn't work for you instead of saying, well, then it must not be true. All right. Second reason that I want to talk about here is that anybody can write anything on the internet nowadays. So please, please, please consider that if the astrology content that you're ingesting is not resonating, that perhaps it might be incorrect or not true. Or perhaps that astrologer is not far enough in their learning journey, so the information they put out is not yet complete. Please, please consider that as one of the reasonings as to why astrology may not resonate with you. Okay, let's say that you have decided to find a reputable force. You have decided to dive deep into the more than 1%. You know, maybe you even know what a birth chart is. And you have looked it up. And you've looked at it. And you've read the interpretations of Mars and Virgo and the moon and Aries. And it still does not resonate. I still don't think we should talk about the fact that astrology is not real or it's fake. And here's why. Here's one reason why. Consider that maybe the reason why it doesn't resonate is because perhaps your birth time is not exactly correct. I mean, I've never been in a delivery room, but I can imagine there's just a lot going on, you know? I can imagine that people are a bit busy and perhaps, you know, reading the clock just gets forgotten or comes a little bit later than expected. And if you didn't know, your birth time, just a couple of minutes of difference in your birth time can make a really big difference in terms of your astrology, what your birth chart says about you. So please, 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 please consider that as another reason why astrology may not resonate with you. The next couple of reasons are mm, they're a bit more, they're larger. They're not as simple as check your source, read more, check your birth time. They are more philosophical, maybe. They are higher effort. All right. So what I mean by this is consider that the reason why astrology does not resonate with you is because you have never had a personal reading. I know. Not everybody can afford a personal reading. Not everybody wants to, maybe. Not everybody knows an astrologer that they could do a personal reading with, which, by the way, you know me. I do personal readings, so what are you waiting for? But astrology is so personal. Astrology is influenced by so many different factors, not just the dates that you were born, the time you were born, and the location you were born. The likelihood of somebody being born at the same time on the same location as you is quite low. And even then, if astrology would take a look at the lives of those two people, we do find that their major life events actually correspond around the same time. These people get married around the same time. These people uh, go to school around the same time. They have the same developmental stages of their life around the same time, which is quite special. You know, they, they do a major move at the same time. Um, they find a, a really important job at the same time, which is quite, quite, quite special. But I'm getting off track. Astrology is really personal. And unless you have an astrologer sitting opposite from you and really taking a look at you, at, at your chart, and 
seeing how it all works together and sharing that with you, then it makes sense that astrology may not resonate with you. I think this is one of the biggest and most valid reasons as to why astrology does not resonate with a lot of people. All of the things you see on the internet about astrology are very, very much stereotyped. They're very much abstracted. And even the very specific aspect that you look up online in astrology, about astrology, can be still tailored down so much more personally to you if you have an astrologer look at it. So please, before you put into question the validity of astrology, please consider the fact that maybe you just haven't had the opportunity for a one-on-one -on -one reading and that is the reason why astrology does not resonate with you. Okay, so I dropped the word philosophy a second ago, and now, now we're going to get to it. All right. <laughs> I had a friend. I still have this friend, but a, fr a friend of mine uh, a couple of months ago said a really interesting thing. She said that I am looking for meaning. And at first, this sounded really strange because I was like, yeah, isn't that everybody? And then I realized it's not. Wow, cool story, Amelia. I, I promise this is going somewhere. <laughs> then I realized this is not true for everybody. There are definitely some people on this earth, including me, who often question things, who often think, you know, why do I have to work to just make ends meet just to survive? I need to work to survive. Why do I need to accomplish anything if we're just going to die? Okay, this is turning dark. But there are some people out there <laughs> who wonder about these things. Some people that want a bit of direction in their life, a little bit of advice, or some people need more than others a feeling of meaning or purpose in their life, a feeling of direction. Some people need outside of them a little bit more, uh, some sort of a system that answers the why behind all of this. And if astrology doesn't resonate with you, it's quite possible that you're one of the people that that sort of meaning making system is just not important to um, you know, yeah, that's it. I had nothing else to say. All right, next point. <laughs> the final point is actually kind of related to the one I just talked about, which is maybe you already have a system that's working for you. Maybe you already have a life philosophy. Maybe you already have a system that tells you what our purpose is, that helps you get direction in life. You know, maybe that's uh, human design or Christianity or um, some other system or religion. And in a way, maybe you don't have the interest to look into astrology because you already have something. Or maybe astrology just doesn't fit in with that system that you already have. Anyways, you have something there already. So there, that could be one of the reason as to why astrology is not for you. It doesn't resonate for you. <laughs> so those were all the reasons that I wanted to just get off my chest. And honestly, this comes with the purest intentions because I, I really don't want any of us to go around spreading this idea to others that just because astrology does not resonate with me it's not true it's fake news it's made up and trust me i also don't think we should do it vice versa i don't think astrologers or people who love astrology should go to others and say well astrology works for me so it should work for you that's not what i'm saying at all i just really hope that we can juice up, you know, add a little bit of spice to this 
conversation, to this dialogue as to why astrology may not be for everybody, why astrology may not be for you. So I really hope that you take some of these points here today and maybe reflect on, okay, which one could it be for me? You know, if this conversation comes up in the future, can I share that reasoning as the reasoning why astrology does not resonate with me instead of putting the practice down and making these wise statements about the whole practice just based on my personal experience with it. That That is all. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Um, yeah, all right. If, if, and this again, is not pushing you in any way, but if any of this resonated, if any of this made you think a little bit, if any of you made, made you just a little bit intrigued, please look around my channel. Look around at some of the uh, videos. Look at look at the Astrologer Explains playlist that I have where I explain a little bit more about how astrology works. I chat a little bit more about the 99% of the practice. Just allow yourself to look around. Explore your curiosity. And honestly, if you still watch a video or two and you feel like, yeah, no, still not for me, please, please accept that. You have my blessings. Thanks for stopping by. I'm, I'm happy our paths crossed. And if we ever see each other again, that will be great. But there's no need to. <laughs> All right. Now that I've said everything, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me down below. Do you actually ha have another reason that maybe I missed? Can you think of another reason, maybe personally for you, why astrology doesn't resonate that maybe you think could be nice to add to this conversation? I'm curious. I'm open-minded. Like I said, you don't need to like astrology. I'm okay with it. All right. I'll stop talking. Bye for now.